Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. It's been a while, but it is March 29th, 2020, and we're taking a look at the staging branch. Why are we looking at the staging branch? Because there's new and interesting things available. Thumper, you say, you're holding a hose in your hand. Yes, yes I am. The hose is the analog to the wire tool that we've had for a very long time. And why do we need a hose tool? Because in the staging branch, possibly and very probably due for release this upcoming wipe, are the plumbing and water components. Really? Well, why, Thumper? Since you do electricity, would you be talking about water and plumbing? Well, I'll tell you why, because that's an excellent question. Remember about a year ago when I said, hey, they should rework the batteries and electrical system to act a little bit more like real electricity because fluid dynamics operate very similarly to how the electrical mechanics would work so if you write all the electrical components to work properly then it wouldn't be too hard to convert electrical components over to something like hoses and containers and tanks and fluid instead of batteries and wires and generators and that my friends appears to be what they did because if you look at our new components that we have, we have a pump, which is called a fluid switch. It is both an on-off switch for fluids, and it has the ability to take power and be an electrical pump for fluids. Here we have a fluid splitter, one in, three out, very similar to the electrical splitter. Haha. -ha. Starting to see some code reuse here, aren't we? Well, if that looks familiar, take a look at this. The sprinkler. The sprinkler has a water in, and it also has a pass-through. Very similar to, say, a ceiling light. Hmm. Well, a ceiling light uses two units of electricity, or two rust watt minutes, and guess what these use? two units of fluid, two milliliters of water per second. Now the water barrel is not an unfamiliar component, but it does have some changes. It still has its 20,000 milliliter capacity, but this output is now a handle for the hose tool. And on top, we have a water in handle for the hose tool for putting water into this barrel. Additionally, our old friend, the small water catcher has an output handle and interestingly enough an input handle so you can put water in here as a storage device it has a capacity of 10,000 milliliters that makes the small water catcher a very similar analog to a small battery and it happens to make the water barrel a very similar analog to a medium battery well naturally we need a large battery right well the large battery analog would be the large water catcher with its capacity of 50,000 milliliters Curiously though, it does not have an input handle. So you would either have to manually fill it or just let it fill itself naturally like it does. But it is a storage tank that can have 50,000 milliliters of water. So you say this works like electricity? I sure do. But there's one interesting twist. Take for example this sprinkler. If I take the water input and I connect it to this barrel over here, it pops up with a warning that says pump required because the water barrel is below the sprinkler. However, if I instead take this sprinkler and connect it to this barrel, which is at the same level, the sprinkler works. Grab the pass through, hook it to this guy on the ceiling. Pump required because water doesn't flow uphill. So unlike electricity, we can't just wire or hose things around like we used to. You do have to make sure they're below your water source or you're gonna need a pump. Well, we can do that. Let's take the water output from the barrel, put it into the input on the pump, take the output of the pump, run it into, ah, the splitter, why not? Check it out. All right, go into the sprinkler here. We'll take this up to the ceiling. And now if we provide a little bit of power to this pump, we shall do. It requires two units of electricity, by the way. It also has a switch on, switch off handle, so you can use automation like timers and such. Maybe someday we'll get a uh, water sensor. Sure, it'd be nice to have electrical sensors. But regardless, 
You can put it on a timer, water your plants on a regular interval, hook them up to a solar panel, have them water at night, something like that. All right, if I turn this on, see now we have water coming out of both of these sprinklers because the pump overcomes the uphill to get to that. Another curious artifact that this is a reused component from electricity, you'll notice this says 12 coming in, 11 going out. Remember how the splitter used to use one unit of electricity for itself? You'll notice, however, that if I do hook these up, a few more here, let me grab the uh, output, pass through. Hook it up to a couple more sprinklers down here. Yeah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You'll see it stops and doesn't run a seventh. That's because we're getting 12 units over here, even though it only says 11 or nine, 11 in, nine out. This doesn't appear to actually be using a unit of water, or at least it doesn't care for that sixth one on the end. It can't run seven because look at the output here. Under fluid switch, it says 12 units, just like electricity. With only 12 units of water coming out of here, if each of those use two, you can only run six, not seven. This input-output indicator with the hose tool, however, is not bug-free. You'll notice that on the top here it says 12. I would imply it has a limit of 12 coming in. You come look at this water catcher and it says 6, implying it has a limit of 6 out. And let's see if I hook it up to here. 6 out of here, do we get 6 in? We sure do. But if we take a look here, you'll see that this is going up by a lot more than 6 milliliters per second. It's actually jumping nearly 20 milliliters per second. In fact, it is jumping 20 milliliters per second. Or, I'm sorry. It's actually 20 milliliters every two seconds on the refresh here. Could imply 10 milliliters per second. But I noticed occasionally it jumps by a little bit more than that, which implies it's doing a little bit more than 12 milliliters per second. So it's definitely not six. It may actually be 12. I'm gonna take this six out and plug it into here, and you'll notice that even though we're taking six out, or sorry, 12 out right now, that this still continues to go up. So even though we're draining it, it still has a net increase, which means the water's definitely coming in here faster than six, and much faster, or much faster than six, and definitely faster than 12, because if we had all 12 going out, it really shouldn't be going up capacity here so obviously a few things to work out on the water indicators that go with the hose tool but there you go guys if you have a grasp on electricity uh, well if you don't watch some of my videos and get a grasp because not only do you need electricity for turrets and SAM sites you also need it to run this pump if you're gonna do fluids we're gonna need these sprinklers because there's an update coming for the farming system and I've been told that uh, planting things in the dirt ain't gonna work as well as it used to. So you're gonna wanna put things in planters. You're gonna wanna collect uh, horse poop and make fertilizer and so forth and you're going to want to uh, water your plants if you wish to survive. The good news is since the water and fluid system is so very similar to the electrical system, if you figured out how to hook things up with electricity, figuring out how to hook up uh, hoses shouldn't be too difficult. Building combined electrical pump systems uh, can get a little tricky and we'll get into that at a future date. But for now, there's your preview for March 29th, 2020 into the staging branch and the pump fluid sprinkler system that appears to be mostly reused code from the electrical system. Good luck, and don't suck.